the Green Building Award inaugurated by PGBC in 2006 and subsequently co-organized by HKGBC and PGBC since 2010 is a signature initiative. As many of you may know, I have bonded with both PGBC and HKGBC since day one, and I'm no stranger to this event. I'm pleased to see the award going from strength to strength. This time, we celebrate the eighth round of award. It has been serving as a catalyst for accelerating and advancing the green building movement in Hong Kong and our region. My appreciation and congratulations go to all the award contributors, including the winners, finalists, international and local jurors, sponsors, supporters, and organizing committee members. The award is one of the action items for meeting our green building goals. I recall that more than a decade ago, a senior government official was invited to speak in one of your events, and she highlighted four A's as the expected key tasks of Wind Building Council. The four A's represent award assessment, for example, Green Pass, accreditation, for example, BIMPO, and advocacy, for example, on public policies. Later, the same official was invited to speak in your event again, and she added the fifth A, acceleration. Today, I suggest adding the sixth A, advancing net zero. Hong Kong pledges to achieve carbon neutrality before 2050 and has launched the Hong Kong's Climate Action Plan 2050, which highlights four key decarbonization areas net zero electricity generation, energy saving, wind transport, and waste reduction. All these are closely related with the research, planning, design, construction, and facility management of our built environment, including new and existing buildings, and building products and technologies. The Council should review and redefine the existing five A's with a view to closely align with Hong Kong's carbon neutrality vision. For instance, should the next rounds of award require all entries to provide explicit response to the four key decarbonization tasks as stated in the latest Climate Action Plan. Overall, Hong Kong has been making a good progress on decarbonization, but is still not sufficient. Meeting the ambitious zero carbon goal required concerted and accelerated efforts. Therefore, I earnestly invite all stakeholders to support the six A's, i.e., award, assessment, accreditation, advocacy, acceleration, and advancing net zero. Thank you.